Nonzo is a commercial farmer who has planted a variety of crops in his farm. These include tomatoes, onions, and watermelons. He distributes the food to the community around his home. With humility, he says of how he started with very few crops and slowly expanded his farm, which enabled him to buy a water pump that he uses to pump water from the sunken river to his farm. Luckily, his farm is at a river bank, which makes it even more efficient. Mr. Kilonzo also distributes water to his neighbors who have no access to water. The farm itself is quite expansive, rising from the edge of the river to the top of the adjacent hill and covering an area of more than 10 acres. Uncultivated areas show it to have natural vegetation typical of a dry savanna scrubland with cut trees. Simon dedicated most of his land to maize, the king crop of most Kenyan farmers irrespective of their location. The maize stock standing on his farm belonged to the Katumani variety and he planted during the last rains that fell from October of the previous year to January of this year. The weeds that grow alongside the maize are also converted to food and some are used for medicinal purposes. Kwanza, kama kiduja kidogo, kama tanga kidogo ikiingia commercial, unazakata kipande kama ina inaanza kutoa maji maji kidogo. Alafu hii wakati mwingine ya zamani kidogo watu walikuwa wanachuna mboga hii. Pia ni mboga. Hii inaitwa kaporio. Kikamba. Kikamba. Mbao ukikata bahali na kizu ile maji yake. Eh? Kuna paja nini? Tapinya. Kule. Kuna pinya. Tangine sisi waongeza kimata kidogo ndio itoke maji ya sawa sawa. Hii. Kana vanyango hivi kama. Eh. Kana vanyango hivi. Alafu ikiwa ni bahali ndio nakamulia nini ile unaona? Unaona? Eh? Weka bali. Sasa ukiweka hivi unawekelea hii katuti hapo. Eh? Ukiwa iko kitu unafunga hapo acha ikae hapo. When we ask if he can expand his market to other areas outside Mwingi, he says this will be more costly and thus he is limited to Mwingi's central Gonoa location only. Simon has an arrangement where his village mates come in and at the end of the day, each person is paid around 150 shillings. This works out well for him and avoids tying his friends to his farm so that they may have more time to tend to their own lands. Simon said sadly that one of the challenges he faces, the state of the road network in his division, makes it hard for him to reach the market frequently and the lack of electricity means that he has to keep buying diesel for running his water pump. <laughs> Kwafu na dashiria mfua inakuja kitoko, alafu hakuna mfua kikuja kitoko, hakuna kitu naweza pangu kufuna. Mwingi being a very dry area, the crops ripen really fast and if not consumed, they get spoiled quite fast. This forces Simon to sell his tomatoes and other fruits at very affordable prices, bringing very little profit to his farm. Mr. Kilonzo, just like any other farmer in Mwingi, has to think of how to get enough food to take him through the dry season. And so, the kinds of crops that they plant and harvest are those that would last. Since he works with his relatives and provides food and shelter, there are no records of payments to his workers. From Mr. Kilonzo's experience in farming, he is able to detect the weather patterns in his area and thus form his own mental calendar. Mwezi wa tisa ni kutoatua hii makwakwe, alafu mwezi wa kumi tunaanza kupanda. Tukianza kupanda, tunafuna mwezi wa, mwezi wa, mwezi wa tatu. Tukitoka mwezi wa tatu, tunatua atua hii makwakwe, alafu mwezi wa hine tuna, tunaanza kupanda. Tukipanda mwezi wa sita, tunaanza kufuna. Hapo mbeleni si kuwa naona chakula. Lakini saa hii niko na chakula, ikinyusia chakula na pata.